What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the what you don't see coming for somebody. So let's see who's going to get it. I do have my Snapchat and Instagram below. Taurus. What's up Tar Tar? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Taurus as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Hold on. I want to turn on this light. Okay. Um, so Taurus, this is going to be about what you don't see coming. I'm going to use two different decks to get two different perspectives. Sometimes this perspective is completely different than this one, or sometimes it bleeds into this one. It's just a different way of looking at it. So let's see. All right. All right, Taurus, what does Taurus see coming? bottom of the deck you have take a reality check okay to do with a capricorn doesn't have to be you have work through your feelings some of you guys could have aries in your chart or this could be about aries um if you have this in your chart i would check out the aries one too so what's coming is you're gonna be pushed to look at your emotions about something and the emotions was with this was a very fun energy. Like, I feel like you really enjoyed it. Very innocent energy. Very childlike. Like, again, you had a lot of fun with whatever this is. Um, and with the take a reality check, I feel like you were kind of maybe acting like something wasn't what it was. Okay. Attend to the details and think through it. Right. Like, it's like there was some little details to the situation that um, you are going to, like, really dig deep and find out. And I feel like it's going to it's gonna piss you off a little bit, just like these cards falling kind of ticked me off. But it's not, it's not a piss off where, you know, it's kind of like you're just like, dang, you know, like why is this happening right now right like bad timing type of thing or maybe you don't want it to happen at this time i don't know okay let's see all right so what's this work for your fears that they don't see coming it's gonna be about a virgo too okay. bottom of the deck is a two of pentacles you have the strength card in reverse the full of reverse could be about a leo as well you have the Page of Pentacles with the Hermit in reverse. So, Taurus, um, this change when it comes to you really looking at something, I feel like you were trying to avoid this with the Strength card in reverse. That's what I'm getting because I feel like you knew that it was going to delay a new beginning for you. Okay, um, maybe something that you really wanted to go towards. I also feel like you know it was going to be a lot to actually deal with these emotions from this energy. The Page of Pentacles and the Hermit in reverse it's like I, I feel like it's gonna delay you um getting an offer or offering something to someone but i feel like this is happening because the universe wants you to have some self-reflection um because i feel like when you offer whatever this is or when this offer is being made to you it's like you need to be in a certain state of mind to have a certain amount of understanding um before this can happen you have the two of pentacles the king of cups and the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here I feel like you're trying to weigh your options here because you you um, have a lot of emotions for whatever this is, okay? But I don't know why this Ten of Swords is here. Why is this Ten of Swords here? Sheesh. You do really have it something. The Lover is the Ten of Coins <laughs> with the Page of Wands in reverse. Well, well the issue here is that you're lying to yourself. It's like it's like you're hiding that you really do want this. You really do want a commitment. This could be with a Gemini or um, someone that has that in the chart. But it's like you really do want this. It's like I feel like or it's like you're you're not looking at the fact that something was very special to you. Something the connection with something was very special. And I feel like there was a lot of abundance here. You guys could have been a family or were working towards that. And I feel like it's it's like you're trying to avoid that part of it 
Okay, maybe you want to be angry with whatever this is. This could be vice versa. Okay, take this how it resonates. But um, I feel like, okay, why is this happening? I feel like I should ask that. So I am the emperor. So you could take control. I feel like if things aren't going good in your life or things are becoming really rocky, it's because the universe is trying to show you that there's some feelings here that you have you know, um, neglected or denied. And it's like, it's like in order for the outside to be a peaceful, loving environment, you have to feel like that in the inside and you can't hide that from the universe. The moon is in reverse, right? It's like your, it's like your fears, but what you are most scared of is going to be revealed that it's not really a fear. Those are just things that you told yourself. Okay. And that might be a big realization for you. Cause I feel like you were kind of using those fears as a crutch here but i know it sucks taurus but we have to we have to feel those unwanted feelings and honestly the sooner that we feel them the freaking better because then like you like i just said it's gonna happen in a time where it's not convenient for you to be in your feelings but it's like it's now or never because if you wait more if you prolong this more it's gonna happen in an even more situation that you don't want for it to be in you know like every single time it escalates so i would just deal with this now just get it over with okay all right spirit taurus what don't they see coming oh it's in reverse you have support in reverse so there's a certain thing that you're gonna want to do that you're not gonna have people like supporting you on it oh man this is not gonna feel good because whatever it is that you want to do it's like it's like you want to do it with all your heart and all your soul. And for the people that are most closest to you don't see that, it's going to be kind of heartbreaking, Taurus. Like you're, the way you're going to feel is going to be really let down. Okay, you have hope. But they want you to continue to have hope. Like even if people around you are giving you a certain thing, don't care about what other people want. What is this that just flew out? The King of Pentacles. Like you're going to have enough you're going to be a very, in a very stable situation in order for you to make this decision. This could be about money for a lot of you. Um, you know, like you have enough for whatever, whatever this is. You got it. Don't go on and asking people any advice about this because they're just going to, maybe it's, it's, it's crazy for them, right? But for you, it's like, no, like I know this could bring me abundance. I know that this, this avenue, this way that I'm going is the way to go. All right, let's see. What is support in reverse? Oh, it's a lot of cards. All right, bottom of the deck is the hermit. All right, you have the page of swords with the lovers in reverse. The ace of cups with the sun in reverse. And the knight of cups with the devil in reverse here. Okay, so Taurus... I feel like whoever these people are, are people that you, you held very dear to your heart or that you had a lot of love for these people. Um, and I feel like with you, it's like you're not even going to tell them everything. Like you're going to give them like just like the basics, you know, like you're not going to get to break it down. And they're already going to just be like, what? Like, are you dumb? Like they're not, they might not say, are you dumb? But like their reaction is going to be like, uh, no, that's wrong. You shouldn't even do that. And I feel like this is happening, Taurus, because you're being guided to remove these people from your life. I don't really care if they're family or the closest friends that you've grown up with. And I don't want that to sound insensitive, but it's like you're on a mission and you cannot bring around, carry people around that don't see the same vision as you. Like they're just going to stop your growth. And everybody had their own individual path. You know, our families, our friends, our significant others, they're just there as plus ones. But you're the main character. You know, and it's like if these people can't even see you, can't see the vision that you have for yourself, then guess what? Maybe these people shouldn't even be around you or create some boundaries, right? Find ways to create boundaries. We can always create boundaries. We, we don't want to, but we can. OK, then you have the Knight of Cups with the Sun card in reverse and the Ace of Cups here. I'm going to be honest with you. I see these people offering you something, okay? Because, again, just like how I felt, how strongly you want this, they're also going to feel it too. 
And these people are going to, they're going to offer you something here. And I, I feel like it's not, it's going to be a big offer, okay? With the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups, it's like a, a big offer and it means that you're going to be, it's a new experience. It's something new, a new avenue that you're taking. And it's going to come from the heart, from them. But, but you have the sun in reverse. So you're just going to be content with this offer. You're not going to be... That same warm feeling that you feel about what you presented to them is not going to be the same. And I feel like you would just be, um, what what is this called that I'm trying to think of here? Um, kind of like just uh, being content, not truly happy. I'm, I'm not, I can't think of the word right now, but then you have the moon, the seven of wands and the hermit. There's a lot of fears in when it comes to you defending yourself, when it comes to you standing up to this to these energies, because this could be a family situation for a lot of you. But I feel like if you take some time and really think about what you want and your path in life without any of these people's opinions, thoughts, whatever, right, what choice would you make? Some of you guys might have to be strategic when it comes to this, right? Move a certain way that might come off a certain way to others. But at the end of the day, I, like I said, it's your path. And if you're not intentionally doing anything to harm anyone or to cause mishap in other people's life, if you're generally taking steps to better your life and it's not hurting anyone, you have all the right. All right? All right, Taurus, that's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever this, <laughs> whenever you watch this and stay positive.